Hello and welcome back again. In this one, let's talk about how you can set up your reference images if you are looking to create from it. So you have some things on your canvas. There are two ways you can set up the reference images. First one is how I do it. And the second one is a quick and easy way to do it. And it's not very reliable. <clears throat> so what you can do is come here in transform no sorry not transform in textures and import the reference images that you want so in this case i have this guy loaded up click on the textures this one and click on plus minus add to spot spotlight button this one as soon as you click on it it's gonna come here now if you instead of this clicking on this this will uh if you click on the center of the circle, it's going to move the properties of the spotlight. But if you click anywhere else, it's going to move the image. So whatever is fine. Uh, it's the image center, it says. So this is the scaling button. If you want, you can just scale the image can rotate the image, do whatever you want. You can also <clears throat> you can also decrease the opacity just in case if you want your uh, reference to be less visible. Once you have set up the kind of image that you want, you can press shift Z to remove the image and then display it again. Shift Z will trigger the option of displaying and uh, hiding the reference image and Z will remove your tool. Just Z, Z, you call it Z for zebra. So yeah, once press Z, you have the reference image set up. Now, you can go ahead and do your sculpting okay like this like this what just just a demo i'm not gonna sculpt this guy let's move on this was the first one suppose you have this uh, something ready as a mesh now press shift z to uh, remove that image and start sculpting if you want shift z again to bring in that image i'll show you one more neat trick so suppose you have set up the image also you have set up this uh, mesh how big and small it is but if, even if you move the model and scale it up like and zoom it up and then you forget where I match the image there's a trick where you can remember that and it will just go back to its place keep where you want it to be keep your mesh according to the image okay so once uh, you have set up the mesh where you want it to be and you want to remember or uh, you want a quick shortcut that it should go back right in in this place whenever you click the button you can come under document and click on any of these custom one and two transform there are two transform that you can save click on custom one it will set up that even if you now zoom in or move what do whatever you can go here and click on custom again it will go back to that place if you want to uh, remove uh, also you can click custom 2 if you want to set another position you can click on custom 2 now you have set both you can switch between custom 1 and custom 2 if you want if you want to clear those you can clear all as in clear all now they all are gone you cannot it'll set up again so that's what that's how you can uh, set up this reference and use it accordingly the next way is if you have removed uh, you haven't added to the textures and spotlight what you can do is open your image it's in my next second monitor open your image put it on full screen and zoom in however you want make sure your zbrush is on top and you can slide the see-through ui so what you'll do as soon as you uh, hover over all the menus it's gonna make the interface fully uh, opaque as soon as you uh, move your cursor to the document area or sculpting area it's gonna make it see-through you can set the see-through intensity 
and you can skirt like this as well so these are two ways where you can how you can use uh, the reference images and uh, start your sculpting so practice it make sure you practice all of them and uh, yeah do not forget to hit subscribe if you don't want to miss more of these kind of videos and i will see you in the next one peace